Hi guys, guess what we've got today? We've got statistics for you today. Year over year, single family residents, detached listing information. That's right. So we've got the major cities here in Ventura County to share with you today. So we will start with Thousand Oaks and these are year over year single family homes. Yes, this is active listings as of April 2023 versus active listings as April 2024. So it's a one month snapshot. Yes, year over year. So it's uh, up 15% in Thousand Oaks and the new listings that are coming on are up uh, 66%, so from 41 to 68. So yeah, so we went from 41 listings in 2023. We've got 68 listings now in Thousand Oaks, and that's a percentage increase of 66%. Then we've got um, Newberry Park. We have active listings and new listings of the two different categories here. So Newberry Park up 17% on active listings, and then the new listings coming on the market um, are up 53% in Newbury Park. So, But that number is from 19 to 29. So you've got 29 listings as of last month in Newbury Park. That's right. In Camarillo, the new listings coming on from 33 to 42, so up 27%. Yes, and then if you take it the active versus the active from 47 to 66, is up 40.4%. But you, you know, these numbers, this 40% sounds like a lot, but you're right. looking at 66 listings, okay? Right. Yeah, and Oxnard, well, here's a good example. 89 active listings a year ago versus 108 active now, up 21%. Per it's just a bigger number. And then there's the new listings. So active year over year and then new listings listings are our two categories. Yeah, the new listings are the ones that just came on in April, right? Mm -hmm. So April 2023, April 2024, up 21%. Well, in Oxnard. But you've got 63 active listings right now in the largest city in the county of Ventura. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Port Wanimi's flat at zero. There were five last year and five this year. And then new listings, there were four last year. And five now, so up one, but 25% gain. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. only one li <laughs> listing. So what do you want these numbers to say? Oh, we want a percent or we want to talk numbers? It's That's nice it. to know both. Right, because the numbers, you know, you can always make them say whatever you want. So we're trying to give you all the information. Now, the city of Ventura, this is where it gets very interesting. Mm -hmm. We've got active listings went from 74 to 82, so up 11%. But new listings... Is went from 52 to 41 down 21 percent down. So the new li listings are slower coming on the market in the city of Ventura. Yes, a very, very crucial time to put your home on the market. I mean, there's just literally, well, there is 41 homes, single family homes for sale in the whole city of Ventura. That's it. Yeah, and then Ojai um, went from 41 to 62. That's up. 51%, but 41 to 62 is why we're giving you both the numbers because it makes it sound lo like a lot. And then the new listings, 21 to 24, up 14%. So basically, to sum it all up, um, all the inventory is climbing um, upward to be a few more homes on the market in all these cities except Ventura, which is declining. That's right. And the numbers, even though they sound huge, I mean, it's clickbait. Hey, uh, new active listings up in Ojai, up 51%. Wow, that's amazing. There's so many properties coming on the market, and that's from 41 to 62. Right. So right. even though the percentage is high, the numbers, there's just not that many houses for sale in the whole county of Ventura. Right. So just keep it, you know, that keep that clickbait in check. If you see a, a headline that seems crazy, um, give us a call, and we'll see. we'll see about giving you all the real numbers and the stats about what's happening in our market. You know, we've seen the new properties that have been coming on. Um, the things, as always, that are fixed up and nice and clean um, are selling the quickest, as they always have. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, if it needs work, if it needs money spent on it, if you've got to rehab it or do some things, roof, landscaping, whatever it is, those sit on the market. They just do. Yeah. Unless it's, you know, a total fixer that needs everything, that's a different buyer than a retail bu uh, buyer who's trying to, to, to buy a home. 
Um, we heard about a fixer just came on the market a couple days ago, total fixer, um, and they already have two offers, all cash, almost a million, and that's the pre-fixed price. That's right, and the contractors, they're known for not overpaying. <laughs> yeah, because if you're going to flip a house, you know when you make all your money? When you buy it. When you buy it, that's <laughs> right. So anyway, you know, we are always here looking at the numbers and trying to be your resource for everything you'd want to know about the local real estate market. We look at homes and prices every day, and you know, we would love to talk to you if you have any questions at all. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thank you.